today's video, I'm going to show you the setup if you would like to connect your Monocaster E2 to uh, a Focusrite audio interface connected to a DAW or DAW. The DAW that I will be using for today is the Ableton Live. Also, we'll do some testing for streaming and also recording in this kind of setup. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things cables I will be needing in the setup. First of all, this is the Monocaster E2. This is the uh, Focusrite 2i2 3rd gen. And this is the laptop where I will be opening the Ableton Live door. And also same laptop we will use for the source of our background music, like karaoke song from YouTube. And this one here, this is a condenser microphone also from the Mono. And uh, if you have dynamic microphone, it doesn't matter. That works as well. And this device here, this will be the device we will be using for uh, recording as well as streaming. Maybe we'll use a live streaming sample using a TikTok. And for the cables here, this is just a TS Dual Mono to a TRS a Jack 3.5. And this one here is just the XLR cable for the microphone, uh, male to female. And uh, an earphone to use for audio monitoring. And this is TRRS 3.5 millimeter jack. This came when you get uh, the Monocaster light. And this adapter here, this is just uh, the uh, lightning adapter to 3.5 uh, millimeter uh, female. I got this from the Apple store. So I always have to reiterate this one that if you're not using the right adapter, you can only hear the effects from your setup as if everything is working. However, when you listen to your recording or if you are doing your streaming, there's no effects. So if that's the case, remember, it, it could be the adapter issue. And also make sure your output volume knob here is on high. Otherwise, when you listen to your recordings, there is no audio, it's only video. And that could happen also in your streaming. If the output volume knob is uh, low, then there is no audio on your streaming. They can only see you like as, as a video, but no audio. And now let's start the connections. First, what we will do is we will connect this uh, Focusrite to the uh, computer. This uh, cable came when you get a Focusrite USB-C to A. So there is only one port here for USB-C. And then you connect the other end to the USB-A port of your laptop. So in this case, it's just on this side. There it is. And now let's connect this microphone to here. And for that, we'll use this uh, XLR male to a female cable. So we'll just, uh, we'll just use a mic one right there. Okay. And now we'll connect this one to here. Very uh, self-explanatory. And now let's connect this uh, cable, TS Dual Mono 2, uh, 3.5 millimeter TRS. From here, what we will do is we will connect the TS Dual Mono to the back of this focus right. Okay, so that's left and this is right. Okay, and now the other end, we will connect to this Monocaster E2. So from here, you will connect it to here, to the one that says Mic 2. And now from here, what we will do is we will connect this monocaster to this device, which we will be uh, using for streaming or recording. And for that, we will use this uh, TRRS 3.5 millimeter jack. Make sure to use the one that has uh, three lines. Otherwise, it will not work for recording if you're using the TRS, the one that has two lines. So from the back here, you have two live output, one and two, you just pick one. Maybe I'll use uh, output two. Make sure it's properly plugged in. And now the other end, I will connect first uh, to this uh, adapter, lightning adapter. And finally, I will connect to this phone. Again, make sure you're using the right adapter, otherwise uh, it will not work for recording or streaming. And finally, let's connect an earphone to monitor the audio, or if you have a headphone, you can do that as well. So from here, we will not be connecting the earphone from the Focusrite. Instead, we will be connecting the earphone or headphone through here, uh, the Monocaster E2. So just pick one from here, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, pick this one here. Okay, okay, so let's do uh, recording a sample first. So from here, I simply open the uh, 
uh, camera, built-in camera of this uh, iPhone for reference. This is iPhone 12 uh, Pro Max. Okay, so before we start the recording, maybe I'm just going to show you quickly over here. So from here, your mic volume, you can control the mic volume of course from here it's up to you if you want to turn on the air if you have the third gen if you don't then uh, you, it doesn't matter as long as it's connected to here and then just locate the mic volume uh, your mic can be controlled from here also from here because this is your output volume from your microphone now for the source uh, or the background music let's say karaoke song from youtube your volume control for that is from here so this does not affect the music coming from here instead you have to control the volume from this laptop itself i'll show you that in a bit and this one here mic number two this is going to be your master volume control for both the, the microphone so this microphone on here and the uh, background music you're playing from this laptop okay and as i said make sure output volume knob is on high otherwise if this is at zero there won't be no audio over there being recorded only video so again i'm going to be setting this one to at least uh, too high and maybe before i start the recording i'm going to uh, go to option first as you notice i've already opened ableton live from here go to options and then go to preference Okay, so as you notice, uh, it's not yet, nothing is over here. So what you'll do is go to audio and pick, select ASIO because this is Focusrite and then audio device, open it and select Focusrite USB ASIO. And you should see uh, this things here and then X out from there. So from here, we'll just be using the audio tracks. If you still have the MIDI uh, tracks there, you can just delete them. Okay, maybe let's just remove that. So as you can see, we'll only be using one audio track because in this setup uh, what we want really is we will only be using the effects vocal eff effects from the ableton live and then to come to this monocaster and then it's up to you if you want to combine or mix the effects vocal effects from the ableton live plus the reverb uh, effects uh, from this monocaster and you can also uh, use this uh, equalizers up there okay and now make sure you armed it, uh, the dot right there, make sure to tap it to make it red, something like that. So over here, uh, just uh, make sure to click also auto. There it is. Okay, and now over here, uh, make sure to turn on the 48 volt phantom power because as I said, this is a condenser microphone. Otherwise, if this is off, uh, this will not work. So that's why I turn it on. And monitoring, I had to uh, turn on the audio monitoring. Now that I'm all set, I'm going to start recording from this phone. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, sound check. Whatever you're listening right now, this is now the recorded audio from this device over here. So again, remember the output volume knob has to be on high. Otherwise, there is no audio on your recording. Let's do a sample. Okay. I'm going to set it back to the, not the max, maybe at least high. There it is. Okay. And same thing with uh, the this volume over here. If this is at zero, there is no audio over there because that is your mic, uh, mic volume, this one here. And if you're going to play a music, so as I said, you can control the music. Okay, let's play this music. Okay, so you can control the volume from here, from this laptop itself. So like that, or turn it up. There you go. Okay, and now, as I said, your master volume is from here. If you want to increase, make it louder for both the background music as well as the microphone, then it's going to be on here, something like that. You have to watch out though, if you're using a condenser microphone, it's pretty uh, sensitive. And if you're so close to it, and let's say you're singing, or if your voice is too loud, then your audio could peak, maybe something like that. So anyway, uh, just watch out for that. And your aux uh, volume here, this actually doesn't matter at all, if, it, if it's a zero or, or at low. And your mic volume here, number one, does not affect your recordings or streaming so from here if you want to add a vocal effects so from this ableton live you should see two infs on here from here what you'll do is tap the arrow up so we selected the first inf right there 
Okay, until you hear something, effects. Okay, there you go, sound check, testing one, two, and of course you can select as you like. And now let's uh, set also the next one. Okay, maybe let's set this uh, to maybe 30. Okay, there you go, sound check, testing one, two. So there's, this is just a simple uh, setup if you want to use uh, this uh, uh, from this, let's say, track number one and you see INFs right there, then that's a pretty uh, simple uh, setup. And this should be your audio output. There you go, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. The advantage of connecting a Focusrite with this DAW to this uh, uh, Monocaster E2 is because you can combine the, uh, the effects from here. Let's say, for example, this time right now, and you still want to add effects from here, you can, of course. Okay, there you go, sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four, sound, oh, let me, let me turn off the auto-tune, okay, there you go, okay, so again, this is uh, pretty neat if you can combine the effects from the Ableton Live doll uh, to this uh, Monocaster E2, I'm gonna set again the reverb from this Monocaster to zero. There you go. So right now I'm simply using the effects from this uh, Ableton Live doll. Okay, let me maybe set again my effects here to zero. So I'm setting INF to actually default, not zero. Okay, and same thing with the other one. There you go. Right now, I'm, what I'll do is I'm going to use the built-in uh, preset effects uh, from this Ableton Live. So what I'll do, I'll go to Audio Effects, and then I'll go to Reverb and Resonance. And from here, I'm going to select Reverb. And then you can select uh, either from here. So just uh, test them out and check if you like them. Okay, let's say I'm going to use Ballad Reverb. Okay, there it is. There you go. So again, what I did was I lowered the dry wet. So again, it's up to you how much dry wet you want to add because that's going to be your audio output. And from here still, you can add effects from the one that I showed you earlier, INF. You can add uh, reverb and delay over there. And also, you can still add effects from this monocaster light. So again, this is the advantage of... Uh, of uh, combining the effects of the Ableton Live and this Monocaster E2. But again, for those of you who are curious, of course, just this alone, you can go live streaming with vocal effects, and this alone, you can go live streaming, and that alone, you can go live streaming. So I just set my dry wet to zero, that's why there's no effects. Again, as I was saying, I'm making this video is because quite a few already have messaged me on my YouTube account or even on my TikTok account uh, if it's possible to connect uh, this Monocaster E2 to a Focusrite and with a DAW. Okay, so from here what I'll do is maybe I'll do a quick uh, recording uh, sample. So as you can see, I'm already recording. So what I will do is I'm going to add uh, or increase the dry wet. So again, I'm using Ballad Reverb. And I'm going to set this to maybe 40, maybe 46 percent. I'm going to open a background music from here. Okay, there it is. Okay, let me do a quick recording sample with the music because sometimes it's different when it's combined. Okay, now let's check first how loud is our music. Okay, so again, if you want it louder, increase it from here or lower it from there. Okay, so I'm just going to set the background music to 18. And please note, some songs uploaded to YouTube, some songs are louder, some songs are not so loud. So you have to, to keep changing it as you like. Okay, so let me give you a little uh, sample from here. Tell myself you don't mean a thing what we got got no hold on me but when you're not there i just crumbled okay let me uh, pause it for a bit so this time what i will do is maybe i'm gonna lower my music a little bit okay maybe i'll set it to maybe 14. and now what i will do is uh, i am going to maybe add effects some more effects uh, from there the inf that i showed you earlier so I will tap 
the arrow up from there. I selected the first one right there, that first INF. Okay, sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four, and I will also add some delay. Sound check, testing, one, two. So as you notice, there's too much effects. <laughs> I know some of you like that, some of you don't, but again, this is how to maybe add or lower it. It's really up to you. Okay, so from here, I will lower my dry wet. Maybe I will set my dry wet to maybe 30. Okay, I will set my dry wet to, let's say 30. There you go. So again, I set my dry wet to 30, and yet I increased my, my first INF right there. So I'm going to set the first one maybe to 30, and then the other INF, maybe I'll set it to, let's say 40, negative 40. There it is. Maybe I'll continue the song so you can check what is the audio difference. Okay. Tell myself I don't care that much I feel like I died till I feel your touch Only love Okay, let me pause it from there again. So what I will do this time is I will be adding effects from the Monocaster E2. So from here, your effects is already like that, and yet you want to add effects from here, of course you can. Okay, so I am currently using Hall uh, Reverb presets on here, and if I'm going to maybe increase the depth, okay, there you go, sound check. As you notice, it changes, and if you want to add decay time, sound check, testing one, two, and that is gonna be your audio output. Okay, let me continue this song for a little bit. Only love can hurt like this Only love can hurt like this Must have been a deadly kiss Okay, there you go. So as you noticed, everything again is flat because I lowered my effects uh, from here and also the effects from the Ableton Live. So that should be your audio output if you will be using the uh, preset effects from there. And then if you want to add some more from, from uh, within the first track right there, the INF, you can increase or lower it as you like. And as I showed you, you can also add effects, the reverb effects from here. And also you can, of course, change the equalizers on here also. Let's say you want to, to lower the mid and then increase the bass and the high if you want to, to increase that. So more flexible if you will be using this uh, Monocaster E2. Anyway, that is all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And for those of you who are watching on TikTok, thank you very much. And also, uh, for those of you uh, on my uh, YouTube followers, if you want to follow me also on my TikTok account, my account is at jnodes1. And before I end this video, again, I want to thank Tumano for sending me this uh, set, uh, this Tumano condenser microphone plus this uh, Monocaster E2, and for me to be able to make all this kind of different uh, setup. If you would like to get one of this, maybe the console or this microphone, they come also in a bundle. I will be adding a link under the description below. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be posting keep safe and until next time